Hello everyone, my name is Mark Willis. Today I want to talk about uh, general surgeries. Um, we have little tools and stuff for it. Well, the instruments we're going to use for it. So general, general surgery could be anything. Breast biopsy, uh, colon cancer surgery, hemorrhoids, uh, hemorrhoids like the advanced versions and what the advanced hemorrhoids, hemorrhoids, um, lorposcopy, colon re resection, and we also have something minor, well not, I want to call it minor, but, um, surgery for the hernia, again, general surgery. So I'm going to do my best and using the tool and preparing the tools that might be used in hernia surgery. Right. So, uh, depending on what kind of hernia hernia surgery it is, it's just, if it's an open, it's considered a, a major surgery. Surgery, but. We're going to focus on the general side and hernia surgery. Yeah, I'm starting to babble. I'm sorry. Forgive me. I'm nervous. All right. I mean, we had the surgical towels. Damn. I like that. I like that. All right. So, be sure you can see my name. Yeah. Zane. All right, let's see. Today we have the Babcock. I want to say, good thing it's not a real surgery because man, oh man, somebody will be getting sick right now. <laughs> I do my best to, uh, you know, Stay organized, but as, as you can see, yeah. So we have the Babcock. We have the Kelly Forceps. So most likely the, the Babcocks, sorry, the Baculus. I'm getting them confused. There we go. That's the bad cock right here. That's the bad cock. We hit the Ellis. The Ellis Tisha Forceps. Babcocks, they have, oh Locks on them. Look at that. So, we also have. I just seen this. Is it this right here? You have the Alice. Uh, the eighty or forceps. Has that right here? Put that bad boy here. Bam. I 
We have the needle. The Mayor ha Hager needle holder. You also have the Schnitt tonsil for set. Seven and a half. We have the Debeki forceps. So a lot of these instruments are, they don't look sharp to the eye. Well, I won't say they don't look sharp, but you don't think of them as being too sharp. You know, using them straight out the pack and stuff like that, they'd be I'm not, I'm not I'm gonna be trying to ruin the plastic because I want to put everything back to to where where it was. But yeah. I don't know if you see the little teeth. Again, general surgery, this could be used. General surgery could be anything. Hernia, uh, open heart surgery. But anyway, these, the teeth can grip. These bad boys are like kind of like, I won't say they're sharp, but they do, they do their thing. <laughs> So this one of the most common forceps you'll use is the DeBakey. Um, you use the Addison tissue forceps as well. Addison, sorry. Man, this plastic. All right, so I recommend when you open the opening these utensils or instruments have a little scissor hanging around another forceps the adson these bad boys are kind of sharp or well, at least the teeth look sharp i don't know if you can see it or not get a nice little angle but let's check this out look at that Again, a lot of st the, the instruments you're seeing right now will be used in a hernia, in a general surgery like a hernia. So I'm going to put a little elastic back on. All right, I'm getting behind, I'm getting behind. All right, tissue forceps. This is the one. We use this up for that. Nope, nope, nope. All right, here we go. Tissue forceps it's with teeth. These are the bigger ones. They're like what six and six point five inches. Look at that. Wow. Again, these instruments are used for gripping and holding. I'm just, no I'm noticing something right now. My hands are kind of shaky. So, imagine what kind of Imagine the kind of uh, skill and patience a surgeon have to have. A surgeon have to have, you know, to do any kind of surgery. But you know, even even though this this consider a a minor surgery, but a open hernia a open hernia surgery, a open hernia repair is considered a major surgery. So imagine you're not steady or focused, you know, as you can hear. You know, I have surrounding noises. You know, I have the birds, I have the dogs, I have cars driving, you know, up and down the block. 
I can't imagine being being a surgeon and have to like just turn off your brain and tune out everything just to potentially save somebody's life. You know, that's another that's another level of I got that one. So all right, here we go. We have Edison pick. Everything you see right here is for grappling. Sorry, grappling. Grabbing and holding. So while the surgeon is doing what he or she do best, you need these utensils, these instruments to be up to par. You know. Let's see. That's Cody in the background warming that spot up. <laughs> yeah. Buddy, you want to relax? Okay. I guess he don't. <laughs> Cody, chill, bro. Yeah. Uh, thank you for being patient with me. All right, this is going on for 11 minutes, almost 12. Let me hurry up. Just seen it. There we go. So right now we have the Mayo Hager needle holders, seven inches. Yeah, again, surgical techs would not be opening like that. Because you just might get the plastic stuck in, in between. Oh, there we go. See the teeth? Burner, burner, burner. Bam. All right. Oh, boy. All right, we have, um, Narrow and wide. Retractors. I don't have the space, so bear with me, please. There you go. This bad boy. Bam. It's a flexible retractor ribbon. can't see where will you add to need this for hernia surgery but you know something might come up you never know so most of these instruments it's like the basic tray you have the army navy retract this right here I'm not trying to destroy the packages, but I already did. But yeah. This is wild right here. Bro. So. I would say put some kind of um most of these most of the stuff will be lubricated or lubed up. If it wasn't for like, you know, surgery and stuff like that, like let's say you fixing a bike or something like that. Or for instance, if you buy a razor, like a switchblade, little uh, utility knife, they lube it up, someone gets stuck. But again, you don't want to just use anything. You just gotta use your uh, strength. 
because everything's supposed to be sterile. A rifle supposed to be sterile, ready to use. Even if it's not. Yeah. All right, so Army Navy retractors. So they call it the Ferris Bueller. Like that's that's wild to me, but but it's right here. There you go. That's not it. Can you rip it? Rip it or rip it. All right. Yep. Here's the Ferris Smith. Nickname Ferris Bueller. Cool story, bro. Cool story. All right, here's the forceps. I'm trying to find a. Uh... and slightly underprepared. There we go. The retractors, Army Navy. This is pretty much a part of your basic general general uh, general surgery procedure. This equipment you'll find in your pack. Well, the surgeon will find this in his pack that everything he requested. Um, you know, everything don't go right. You got prepared though. You got to make sure you have a backup for everything. All right, it's like 18 minutes. See, yeah, I want to wrap this up. So right now you have your the scissors. You have your clamps. There they go. Basic mosquito clamps. Wow, look at that. All of them have the teeth in it. So keep in mind, I know this is like very, very limited space that I'm working with because I have nothing, no, no, nothing else. But imagine in a, um, in a central processing. Imagine what you're seeing after a procedure like this. Man, you might be seeing all types of blood, you know, fat. Mm. Interesting to say the least. I was trying to save the packaging. I'm not trying to ruin anything, but all right. 19 minutes. Got the bell clips. I just seen this right here. Boom, boom, boom. The Babcocks. Yep, right here. Bam. Bad cocks. Place him right there. Had the mosquito clamps right here. Army Navy. So I'm trying to 
well, normally your hernia is right here, right? Or along this area. So, I think they'll use this, well, the Army, the Army Navy retractors, but, ooh, mm, yeah. Even thinking about it just gives me, like, yeah, chills. We have the learner, non penetrating tile, tile clamp. So trying to get well, yeah. These bad boys are super sharp. So please be careful. Safety first. So it looks like the way these bad boys are used. Let's say you got your, your patient opened up. It's a towel clamp. So it pulls a hold everything steady. But you know. It'll be something like that. Damn, can we see it? Let me do it this way. That's how I work and hold it like that. So it pretty much be super sturdy. Again, you want your you want your instrument sharp and ready to go because you don't want them to clamp it on and then these these clamps have. These instruments has weight on them, so you don't want them to, you know, fall. So it gotta be nice and tough, fresh, good grip, you know. Anytime you you gather your materials, you always gonna do a little inspection. Getting older, I realize, you know, everything is clean. Everything's brand new. It's not always clean. Uh, I don't know if you buy sneakers from online, like Foot Locker or a night shop or whatever. A lot of people, what they do is they buy sneakers, wear them. Oh, I don't like them. So I'm going to return them. Uh, pretty much the same thing when you're ordering instruments for use for surgery stuff like that but the shady part about the sneaker part the shady part of, of everything was when it comes to the sneakers is you like you know you buying these 200 dollars sneakers and you wearing them for you know um a night or two oh i don't want them so what they do is you know they don't really they probably give it a little <laughs> put them in a the box and then they resell them so then it's like, imagine you doing that. Imagine you you ordering these tools, ordering like, a, again, ordering the, uh, tissue clamps. You know, this is not relatively expensive, but let's say these bad boys have, let's say these bad boys are weighted. You know, have a, have some kind of, uh, Bad boy, some kind of, um, yeah, I don't know, whatever makes it, whatever just makes it, like, you know, expensive. Imagine you just buying it, using it, and not properly cleaning them. So that's always a no-no. You don't want, you don't want, you don't want this to be used on you or your family member. Like, you know, I, I believe in, Taking pride of your job, it might not be what what you want to be at in life at the moment. But you know, when stuff like that, if you work at McDonald's, um, any hospital, anything, like you know, just you're reliable. People depend on you for their nourishment. People depend on you for um. 
to make them to make them better. So you want to have pride. You don't want to just like, oh, all right, cool, this looks clean. I'm gonna reprocess it. Um, yeah, I know I'm going off on a tangent, but let me just chill. The importance of you know checking your equipment is vital. So right now I have the fine right angle Dietrich. This one's seven and a half. Bam, look at that. Ooh. So stuff like this you'll need for your hernia repair, general surgery, open heart surgery, Army Navy, retractors. forceps I just seen the one I was looking for but yeah you have different types of clamps you have the small clamps Small mosquito clamps. I showed you that earlier within the video. All right. Your mayo scissors. Mayo, 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 extra mayo. Very little mayo, mayo. Look at that. scissors me Tonsil sponges. Ooh. So what they do is wait, I can't. See, I've been trying to use my hawk strength for next thing you know everything and then flowing across the room. Put the sponges. Yeah, this for your sponge. Open the bad boy up. Use this for suturing. Sponge forceps, sponge forceps. Uh, I need an example. So let's just say, hmm. let's just say this is the sponge, bang. Dip it, beep, 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 beep.
Russian tissue forceps. Yep, this is all you'll need when you're doing general surgery. Got the claws. A lot of these in instruments are used for different parts of the body, like this bad boy right here. You can use it on the air and stuff like that. So, yeah. I got 30 minutes into it, so let me just hurry up and end it right now. So what you see right here will be used in general surgery for like, uh, again, open heart, uh, hernia. You know, you had the, uh, oh, I forgot one crucial thing. You can't start the surgery without the scalpel. somewhere you need the scalpel 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 oh. here's another retractor this is called sin retractor bam same as dull so yeah I mean it's no sharp it's no sharp parts to it, but you don't want to be sharp because you don't want to rip, rip the skin. Make sure it's seen. Bam. Bam. Oh. <laughs> Scalpel, razor blade will go right here. This later, retract and dispose it. That's not it. A staples, all stapling. Hope everybody had a wonderful holiday. Here we go. Bam. Scalpel. Actually, it's a knife. Yeah, number seven knife scalpel. Bam. You see it? See that? See that? So, this is what you'll see. Most of us will put this together when we decide, when we become sterile processing techs, surgical techs. Come on, baby. Why are you being weird to me? There we go. So this is what we will see. 
in a better professional, more accurate setting, bigger space and everything. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed it.